Hello and welcome to In Our Schools. I'm Katrina Heeman. We're introducing a new segment to In Our Schools where we will look at the curriculum and show you what your child will learn in math from kindergarten through fifth grade. You will notice a definite change in the instruction. Students are more engaged with hands-on learning activities and really enjoy math. These new segments will also help you read the new report cards and see how your child is being assessed on each section. Today we will visit a math lesson in Mrs. Kane's second grade classroom at Highland Elementary to see how and what students are learning in math. The students are engaged in activities that follow the recommendations set by Iowa Corps Mathematics. The Iowa Corps emphasizes teaching for understanding. The Iowa Corps standards stress that mathematical understanding and procedural skills are equally important. The Waterloo Math Curriculum is aligned with the Iowa Corps and is built around instructional tasks focused on important mathematics used in everyday life. Students learn in an environment that stresses making sense of mathematics. They learn math content and develop fluency and skill that is well grounded in meaning. Problem-based instructional tasks are at the heart of teaching for understanding. Today's students are engaged in a geometry lesson. In a typical lesson, you will see Students are actively involved in all aspects of the lesson. Students use concrete mathematical manipulative objects as a natural part of instruction. Students solve problems and work on extended problems as their primary purpose in math. Students record and reflect their thinking in math journals, logs, and recording papers. Students learn through repeated work in activities and games. Students are assessed with formal and informal assessment. Students demonstrate and explain their thinking and ask questions of their peers and their teacher. In second grade, students will be learning about place values such as counting by fives, tens, and multiples of hundreds, and the number of relationships between those units. They need to use what they know about place value to find ways to add and subtract. They need to know their addition facts to 20 from memory. They will learn these concepts by interacting with the math workshop activities and hands-on experiences. New concepts for second grade students include working with numbers to a thousand, adding and subtracting using strategies to use what they know about place value and addition, and subtraction to find solutions to complex problems. They will also be learning to use rulers and how to measure something using inches and centimeters. They will also be learning about shapes and analyzing how to combine them to make three-dimensional shapes. Parents can help students by playing the games and having the student explain their thinking. We want students to see that there are many ways to solve problems and even solve equations. Taking time to explain your process allows students to see another strategy. Ask them to explain their ideas as well and watch for what they know about place value. Students will be bringing home games that will allow students to practice their math combinations so they will connect strategies with them to figure out quickly if they don't remember them. It is important that students can tell you their strategy before they start to commit them to memory. How are students assessed? We know that students need to understand mathematical ideas in different ways. Teachers assess students' learning by watching them work and recording what they see about what the student knows, by doing individual written assessments, and by explaining their ideas. Students do not pass a benchmark until they have mastered it. Since all of the concepts are connected, they are revisited throughout the year. Students will be working to master concepts all year if needed. This is not our old way of thinking. We're not, the teacher's not standing in front of the classroom saying, this is what the problem is, this is how you do it, and this should be your answer. The kids are very engaged in coming up with their answers the, their own way, and they take much more ownership in it. You can see this by how the students are engaged in interacting through the math games today. Thank you so much, Mrs. Kane, for letting us see what your second grade class will be learning this year in math. Math is a critical skill that will support a student's achievement and development throughout a lifetime. I hope this segment of What Will My Child Learn This Year has been helpful. Please stay tuned or visit our district website for other programs as we continue to demonstrate what you can expect students in kindergarten through fifth grade to learn in math.